hey guys welcome back to the second video of building and releasing your first npm package so we're going to take the autony report as an example for our learning but before that if you want to create a simple package and you want to do anything other than the autony report probably uh, this video will help you to get started with how to build a local package and how to test it okay so let's see what are the things we required for our learning today so first of all we are going to do the project setup as i said in the earlier video we have to install the node.js and vs code editor as a, our id and additional to that you can also install the git terminal so basically if you are using windows machines you will have the uh, command prompt or the windows powershell but mostly I use git terminal so few of the comments I use is going to be more appropriate to the git terminal so probably I will recommend you to install that as well so we will be in the same page okay and then we need two packages actually one is the t sub and another one is the uh, typescript of course okay and then we are going to see how to build a project how to build a package and how to test it locally okay so it's going to be very simple let's get started with our project creation first so i'm going to use the desktop and i'm going to create a folder called my dash calculator okay i hope the spelling is correct okay now let's go and open this in our vs code editor okay so first of all we are going to bring out terminal control j so you can see like it's a bash that means it's a git bash command so if you want to install git bash command it's going to be very simple just go to git uh, bash download and go to the first link and you can install this in your mac os windows or the linux okay so what is the advantage in the sense like few of the linux based command i used mostly so that's why i follow the git bash uh, once that is installed you can change here like you can select default profile so in your case it might be powershell or the command prompt but yeah i prefer to use the git bash okay uh, yeah so first of all we are going to create a package npm init then followed by dash y dash y in the sense like it will create a boilerplate template for us the package.json file or else we have to specify like what is the project name what is the version what is the main and all the other mandatory fields okay but we are going to skip that with the help of dash y flag okay now first thing you have to notice here is the name of the package because it is very important so for example if i convert this into like uppercase it will not work it will throw you error i mean you can execute the project shells but it is considered to be a bad example so if you mouse over on this you can see there is a rejects works here so based on the rejects you have to create the package name in my case it's going to be very simple i mean in everyone case it's very simple it should be lower case so for example i can say like my calculator but it should not have the space so if you want to have space you should add the this one why i'm telling this is for example if you go to the uh, let's say t sub right so t sub is just a single word and everything is in lower case so of course it will work so in my case let's uh, let's go to autony report yeah so here you can see like this one is autony report autony dash report right so where from where node models will take this in the sense like let me open my project here yeah so if you go to this package.json file you can see this is the name right so whatever the name we are going to give within the pro package.json as our project that is what we can see here so it should be unique and it should be follow the case and state that is it should be always in lower case and then followed by if you are going to give space it should be like dash okay so yeah that one thing i wanted to mention over here okay now let's go and do okay so first of all we are going to add or uh, the of course the uh, language the typescript uh, thing right so npm i dashed in the sense like it will add in the dev dependencies and then followed by i can say typescript okay meanwhile we will create a folder called src uh, yeah src so whatever the source code we are going to write we will keep that in our src folder is it mandatory no not at all but it's a good uh, project practice i can say okay then i'm going to say like my then followed by lc dot ts file okay of course you can write in javascript as well but as i said earlier typescript will give us more handy features and the spelling is very awesome so lc 
yeah my calc.ts file okay i'm going to write a simple um, class file so class let's name it like my calc and let's add a function so it's going to be public in my case then followed by add and i'm going to get two uh yeah two numbers as an argument num2 and which is going to be of type name and it's going to also return the number type and then i can just simply say number one plus num2 okay so that's it we have a pretty uh neat class and a function it's very simple consider we are trying to build a advanced calculator where it's going to handle the trigonometry the algebra or some other calculation right so in my case of course just a simple thing i'm going to add the add functions now of course we want to use this class in another project or in another class then of course we have to do the export right so we'll say like export then followed by my calc as default that means we are not going to give any name alias to this so i'm just exporting as default also you can select export default that will also work so you can say like export uh, the class name then followed by it's going to be the same if you want to change this name my calc you can also select as then followed by um, calc so that should also work fine okay first time but i'm going to leave this as default for now okay now what we are going to do is we are going to uh convert this project into javascript as i said in the previous video like uh, the node modules doesn't accept the typescript as usual as usual like directly it it will accept the code but when we do the import in javascript project or in typescript project typescript doesn't work so typescript will get transcompiled into the javascript and javascript code only works so of course we have to convert this how we are going to do it the help of tsub so tsub is very popular library which is help to bundle your typescript into javascript okay so i'm going to bring my terminal again and i'm going to say npm i dash d then followed by tsub okay so that is installed now we are going to add a file in the root of your project let's name it like tsup.config.ts okay so make sure it's we are going to follow the same name so this is like the global thing for types uh, tsup okay so tsup.config.ts and here we are going to first of all import the default config from tsup okay and it's going to be like define config not default it's it's going to be like your define config okay now within the config we are going to give some value so export uh, default define config and this is a function basically within the functions we can specify the options for example let's say where is our entry entry in the sense like we know that in our project we can have multiple n number of classes right but where is my starting point i have to say where is my starting point in my case this is the starting point so i'm just going to copy the relative path and paste over here within the array of course it's array means you would have understood we can give multiple path as well okay then i'm going to say in what format i want to get it so for example i can say like format or not this for loop format and of course again within the array i can specify for example i want to get in the cjs cjs in the sense like common javascript module so in node there are two types one is the common javascript modules and another one is the ecmascript uh, javascript module okay so i can specify both so esm in the sense like ecmascript so ecmascript in the sense like you can easily use the import and export statements in common javascript means of course you have to use the require command okay so that's the major difference i can say and if you want to get the documentation the typescript declaration file you can specify like dts and then it's a boolean so you have to specify like two okay yeah um, are we good with this of course we are good with this now what we can do we can um yeah one more thing okay uh, before that let me show you so i have written my calc super calculator class i have a function i have exported and i have done the configurations now as i said earlier the typescript doesn't work directly we have to convert this into javascript that's why we have this configuration 
now what we'll do we'll just go to our package.json and here within the script i'm going to add a command called build and then not this one b u i l d build yeah build and here i'm going to say t sub just give t sub uh not t sub t sub yeah if you just give t sub it will directly go into this t sub config.es that's why i say like you should follow the same name and then it will start building let me show you so i'm going to open up my terminal npm then followed by uh, run and then followed by build okay so now if i use this you can see it has called the t sub internally and it has created this many files for me so that is the beauty of bundler if you go to the disk folder by default it go and create everything within the disk folder if you want to change of course you can change like you can go to the t sub and you can so say like uh, output directory and give some name whatever you want but i'm just going to leave as it is in the dist folder so within the dist folder you can see like we have got the javascript file the typical javascript file so our class file will be converted into a uh, method and then we can use it javascript typical javascript mjm mjs is basically your ecmascript file so we can see the same javascript but with different uh like it looks very simpler compared to the old javascript code where we have like a lot of things okay and then we have the dts that is the declaration so if you can see like we got the uh, same code as in the format of typescript but once we mouse over on this we can see that we can read the documentation okay uh, not only documentation so for documentation we have to of course add the documentation type for example uh, here i can say like add functions with the two parent if you want to give some relevant documentations you can give okay let's not worry about it uh, let's build it again so whatever we change we do the changes it should be reflected in the so here so for example if you go to the dts or the mjs you can see like we got the comment as add functions okay so whatever the functions we add or we modify or we add something then of course we have to build the project again okay now we got the project so this is the dist folder this is our whole code is there within the dist folder now i want to test this in local in my local project so i'm going to create another project here let's go and uh, yeah let's go and add this let's say uh, my calci test so this is going to be my local test project okay i'm going to bring up my vs code here and same thing you have to create the project because we want to add the dependencies right so of course you have to create the package.json through npm so i'll say npm then followed by init dash y okay now let's create a package i mean file here um calc dot test dot ts okay and what we are going to do we are going to bring this package over here so this is the package right so this package i want to bring over there how we'll do since already we have converted into javascript it should be easy right so we'll go and say like uh npm then followed by link so when i say npm link that means this whole project not only the dist folder the whole package like each and everything will be shipped to your local instance now i can go to my this project and i can say like npm then followed by link and then followed by my package name so in my case it's my calci right so i can just copy and paste over here okay now once i do this you can see like in the left hand side it created a folder called node module so if you remember whenever we added any package it created the node modules and within this if you go and here you can see like t sub is the typescript there right so others are there but these things we added this all these are may be called internally by the t sub or any other packages okay so since we have link so npm link means it will ship our entire project to test locally and when i say npm link then followed by my calculator it will add that particular project in this current project okay so we have the node modules and you can see within the package we have this dist folder src folder package objects and t sub configurations everything is there right now how do i use it so I cannot simply go and say like import then followed by um what is the class name uh, too many vs code opened i have yeah the 
uh, the class name is my calci right so i can say like import my class from uh my dash calci this is the package name right my dot calci is the package name but if i'm also you can say like i cannot find module my calci or is corresponding type declarations so we are not able to get it why because a package can have n number of classes so we have to specify where is our actual file so that is the beauty of bundler bundler will not have like too many files it will convert all your record files record code into a single file but we have to specify that like how we can do it so if you go to your package.json file here we have to add three things one is the uh, module and then followed by type not type actually uh yeah let me just quickly check in the auto report so yeah this one main module and the type yeah i was correct only not main it should be main module and then followed by this one okay so yeah i can remove the existing main from here i don't want that so this is my main and this one of course if you go to the list folder so this is the uh, js file right so let's copy the js and we are going to change over here uh, you should copy the relative path and change the slash okay and then followed by mj so we have also generated the mjs file so let's go and change this change the slash and type declaration this is the type declarations we have so let's copy and paste okay so please remember we have to do it it is pretty much necessary okay so the main so where is our javascript file if you are going to use the typescript or the esm module then of course you can specify within the module folder and then this is the declaration so declare declaration file okay so now if i go back to my uh this thing and of course i have to build it right so if i do any changes of course i have to build it so i will say like npm run build so once i build it will build and it will ship the code automatically so i don't have to again say like npm link now you can see we are not getting any error and here we are getting error because we have declared but we never used it so we'll use it in a while okay so let's create a class called a test okay uh, since this is now export as default we should not use the bracket and then followed by c dot it should get the add actually but i think we have to create a function or how does it work i forgot typescript thing how can i forget typescript okay let's create a function let's say like do cal c okay and i can see dot yeah actually it should call within the functions i did mistake okay anyways um okay class cannot have a const keyword uh, yeah class can't have well, let's make it private okay yeah and of course i have to give two one so one two one one it should give me the answer as let's store this so const result equal to and then followed by console dot log result okay now if i run this of course it's going to give me the output so what is the learning here if you, if you see my calculator is coming from the package called my calci where it has a function called add we are under giving so if you mouse over of course i can see like what does this one so this is basically your declaration file okay so i hope you are able to understand like how we are using this so um of course you can create an object for the class and then you can call the functions or else what we can do is we can actually you even you don't need this class you can just uh you can create a function over here yeah you can create a function and you can call this and now you can call this function over here you can see so if you run this file so to run this again you have to convert this into javascript or else you can use the es node and you can do this okay so anyways i'm not going to focus on that i hope you are able to understand how to create a package how to call this and this one okay um so let me give you a quick recap whatever we have done so far so first of all we created our actual project the package where we have the dependency of typescript and the tsub to so typescript of course the language and tsub is a bundler and then you have to add this three lines so here only we say like where is our main where is our model and where is our type declaration file is there okay and then followed by you have to create the tsub configurations where we will say like where is our entry you can have multiple but in our case is going to be only one 
and what are the formats so i want to get in the cgs common javascript file as well as ecma typescript file another file is there which is uh, file format i guess, life format I'm, I'm not sure whatever what is that maybe you can explore and if you want to get the declaration file you can get this uh, dts okay uh, dts config yeah and whatever yeah to use this to do the local testing you have to use the com command like npm link the entire project will be shipped to all your other projects and within that particular project you have to call like npm link followed by the package name and i have already explained the importance of package name so make sure you are going to do that correctly and if you see within the once we do the linking it will bring up the package all the files now you can just create your file and you can uh, do whatever you want okay so that's sorry um that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment i'll be happy to reply and in the next video we will learn how to um, use the same concept and import the autony report maybe there i will explain little bit further Ta -da, bye -bye. take care